How are you guys? It's Zar Danya from the Zar of Dating. We take no prisoners in this modern dating era. Before we get into the topic of pre-selection, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video, comment, share. We're trying to get this out on the algorithm so everyone can learn the certified G game that's being brought to you by the boss of all boss players, me, Zardanya. Today we're talking about pre-selection. Now this is evil, fellas. This is very evil when it comes to women. Pre-selection is not only one of the best sexual triggers when it comes to attracting women, but it's also the hardest one to fake. That's why this one's so powerful. You can't fake other women sexually attracted to you. You can't fake other women falling in love with you. That you cannot fake. So you automatically pass any shit test that a woman can throw at you when she sees you surrounded by beautiful women that sexually want you, that sexually desire you. That is one of the quickest way to bypass all their shit tests that they're hardwired to throw at you. So it comes down to this. Research has shown that men who have other women that are sexually attracted to them, research has shown that other women find that man more attractive. If you don't believe me, go back to a time when you got in a relationship with the girl and let me know how many more women found you attractive. Let me know how many more women responded to you. This is why a lot of girls go for married men. This is why a lot of women go for the guy in the relationship. Because you can automatically bypass nearly every shit test a girl throws at you when she sees that other women are sexually attracted to you. Women are collective by nature. So if they visualize and they can sense that other women are sexually attracted to you, they can trust you since women are collective by nature. Women are together in groups, okay? That's how they survived. They needed the collectiveness from one another. So a big red flag that a girl says is, oh, I only hang out with guys because I don't get along with women or because women are too much drama. I only have guy friends. That is a big red flag because if she can't get along with her group of women collectively, there's something wrong with that girl. But back to the topic. It's the sheep herd mentality. Women want what every other woman wants. This is social psychology. I'll break it down for you. When you go out to a bar or a club, would you want to go to the place that has no people whatsoever? Or are you going to go to the place that has a long line of people waiting to get in? Are you going to go to a place that is packed with people having fun? That is exactly how women are. They all want the guy that can get other women. They secretly want the player, the ladies' men. So if you don't have any women waiting in line to get with you or to be with you, then why the fuck would she? Why the fuck would any other woman want to be with you if you don't have a line of women dying to, to get inside, dying to see you? That is social psychology. We all want the product that other people are buying. Women all want the product that other women are buying. That is the sheep herd mentality. But when it comes to pre-selection, it's very important that you convey that you are pre-selected, not say. You never want to brag or boast about how many other women want you, how many other women you're dating, how many other women are attracted to you. Oh, I can get that girl, that girl, that girl. You never want to say it. You have to convey it with your energy, the way you carry yourself, and the way other women check you out when you're out in public with a girl. You have to convey pre-selection. Women are very similar to cats. And I know Corey Wayne says this in his book, but this goes back to the mystery method. There was a pickup artist by the name of Mystery who brought up this analogy first, how women are very similar to cats. So don't tell me that I stole this from Corey Wayne. So when I had one cat, I was living with one cat. The second I brought in the second cat, guess what? Envy, jealousy, he was more territorial. But the caveat to that was, now since he had competition, 
He had to fight for my attention more. He had to show me more affection. He had to show me more attention. He wanted me to win him over so I don't pick the other cat. That's exactly how women are, fellas. They are very territorial. Women hate competition. So what they'll do is they'll try to eliminate that competition by giving you their all. They're going to put their best foot forward. They're going to fight for your attention even more. They're going to be more submissive to you. They're going to do everything you ask them to do because they want to eliminate that competition. They're going to be more compliant with you. Women are very similar to cats, fellas. I'm telling you, any man that's good with cats is good with women. Take it from a man who has two cats of his own. Speaking of cats, my cat just walked in as well. He knew I was talking about him and the other cat. So, this goes back to when I worked at the fitness center for five years of my life. I was 16 years old before this place was even erect. I was working as the receptionist. Up until age 21, from 16 to 21, I worked at this fitness center. I was still learning game. This is the place where I enhanced my personality. For So for all those men that are young, work at a place where you have to talk to people. You have to interact with people. That is the best way that you can enhance your personality and work on your mouthpiece. The tongue is the only tool that gets sharper with every use. My tongue became very sharp because I used it. Every time I was at work, hours at a time. That's how powerful the tongue is when you use it, fellas. So you have to communicate with as many people as you can. I was this insecure, shy kid who had no game when I was first starting out. But I noticed how powerful pre-selection was when I started learning the game, attracting women, and those same beautiful women, they would be hanging around the front desk talking to me. They would be greeting me. Sometimes they would come in not to even work out just to see me. So the more beautiful women I had hanging around at the front desk, the more the other women wanted me. I don't care if they were married, in relationships. I had girls that would come in with their boyfriends. They would see beautiful girls talking to me, hanging around my desk. Two weeks later, when they would break up with their beta cuck barnacle of a boyfriend, they were hanging out with me. That's how powerful... I realize pre-selection is because you can't fake it. And let me tell you something. Women gossip. Women like to talk. So they were gossiping about me. Why was I so mysteriously confident? Why did all these other women want me? So they wanted a piece of the pie, essentially. Secretly, women want the players. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this right now, this cold heart fact. They will never say this, fellas. Secretly, women want the player. And they want the ladies, man. They say they don't. But in reality, what they're trying to tell you is they want that ladies, man, who has all these options to choose from. But he but she wants that man to pick her and her only. He wants she wants him to be loyal to her and her only. She wants him to be with her. That's why that's powerful, fellas. That has value to it. No girl wants that loser beta male who gets no women. Of course, there's some women that will settle with that beta male at a certain age because we all know women have an uncanny ability to settle with men they're not sexually attracted to. They will settle with that guy because they don't want to compete with other women. They're tired. They're lazy. They don't want to work out. They don't want to look their best. But secretly... Nearly every woman wants that player, but they want that player to choose her and choose her only. That's when that has value to it. Out of all these options of women he could have chosen from, he picked me and he decided to be loyal with me. That's when they appreciate it, fellas, because it has value. There is no value in being with that beta male barnacle that gets no women. There's no value in that. They don't appreciate you like they appreciate the ladies' man or the player that chose them. So when I was working at this fitness center, I would have girls cheat on their boyfriends with me. Married women cheat on me. I was sleeping with employees. Everyone knew me as the legend at that place. Because when you have women, you keep getting women. That's why they say the rich keep getting richer. Why? Because when you have money... Money just flows right back to you. When you have women that are sex sexually attracted to you, that abundance mindset, women just keep flowing right back to you. 
That's how powerful pre-selection is. You don't need the status, you don't need the fame, you don't need the money. And this is why women love celebrities and famous people and musicians. It's not because of the fame. Yeah, the fame has a little bit to do with it. The status has a little bit to do with it. It's the fact that all these other women want that celebrity, like Chris Brown, like Usher, like Tom Hardy, like Leonardo DiCaprio. They know so many other women are sexually attracted to these men. That's why they find those men attractive. That goes back to pre-selection. And I'll tell you how powerful pre-selection is when it comes to women. Take examples like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, or as I like to call him, Jeff Bozo the Clown. Bill Gates and Jeff Bozo the Clown. They have all the money in the world. They have the status. They have the fame. But they don't have any women that are sexually attracted to them. They have no pre-selection. And that makes it much harder for other women to be attracted to them. They look at those guys as sitting ducks, as dorks. They look at those guys as an ATM, as a free meal ticket. When they get divorced, they get to keep half their shit. I don't want you guys to end up like those dorks. Pre-selection is the most powerful sexual trigger that a man can have when it comes to women. Pre-selection is one of the most powerful tools you can have in your toolbox when it comes to women. So you guys are probably asking me, Zar, how does a guy get to that level? By leveling up. By using your tongue, by learning how to interact and communicating with people, body language, learning how to carry yourself, working out. I have a 12-week workout program that focuses on your shoulder-to-waist ratio that women drool over and that men respect when you walk into any room. Make sure you get that program. I've been using that program for about 12 years now. I haven't changed it one bit. Once you're done with those 12 weeks, you start it all over from week one again. Rinse, lather, repeat, and I will not use any other workout. You also need to read psychology books. You need to focus on your vernacular, on your vocabulary. Learn new vocabulary words every day. You need to do these things when you level up, fellas. That's how you get pre-selected. That's how you have women dying to be with you. That's how you have women sexually attracted to you. You have to become the best possible version of yourself. And you're not going to do it by watching porn, playing video games all day, and not bettering yourself. I'm no better than any of you guys out there. I'm only better than the man who's not bettering himself each and every day. That's the only man that I am better than. Don't be that guy. Level up, fella. Start young. Interact and communicate with Everyone you meet each and every day. That's how you become better at communicating. I don't care if the girl is ugly, fat. I don't care if the guy has three eyeballs and five arms. Doesn't matter. Say, hey, how are you? How are you doing? Start small talk, fellas. This is how you build confidence when you communicate with people. And pre-selection only works when women are sexually attracted to you. Just because you show up to a place with a beautiful girl doesn't mean other women are going to be attracted to you. If that girl puts you in the friend zone or you go out with several women and they all put you in the friend zone, what did I tell you about women? They are collective by nature. They're very intuitive. So they can pick up on a woman's energy right away. They know when these girls put you in the friend zone. And if a girl puts you in the friend zone and she devalues you to such an extent where she doesn't even find you sexually attractive, why would the other girls find you sexually attractive? If this girl or these women don't even want to sleep with you or they're not sleeping with you, why the fuck would she? Pre-selection only works when other women are sexually attracted to you and women can pick up on that en energy when you go out with your girlfriend, when you go out with a beautiful girl. They know if these girls find you sexually attractive. Now her attraction for you has risen. It heightens. Pre-selection also works word by mouth. I had this one member in my VIP membership that you can pay $8 a month for. He's in the medical field. And one of the girls that he slept with, he gave her that grade A organic hot beef injection. 
The girl that he slept with, she told one of her best friends about him and how good he was in bed. Now, her best friend wants to sleep with him too. She left him a note. She wanted to go out with him. She heard about how good he was in bed. And now, he's going to go sleep with her. That's how powerful word of mouth is. So, women talk. They like to chatter. So, if you are sexually attractive and other women talk about you to their girlfriends about how much they like you how hot you are how sexy you are there's just something about you now all these other women want a piece of the pie word of mouth is very powerful let the women talk what did i tell you you convey you never say don't ever brag about other women wanting you women can pick up on your energy they know who the players are by the way you carry yourself by the way you present yourself, your body language, how smooth you are with your mouthpiece. They know this, fellas, and you cannot fake pre-selection like I told you in the beginning. How can you show pre-selection when you're out with your girlfriend or a girl you're dating? You can still convey pre-selection. So anytime I go to Starbucks with my girl, when there's a cute barista taking our order, what do they usually ask you? Are you together or are you separate? As in, are you paying together or are you paying separate? When she asks me, are you together? That's my, that's my chance to be cocky and funny. So I'll look at the barista and then I'll look at my girl and I'll say, well, technically we're not together, but she's trying really hard. I know she's very attracted to me. Now I got the barista laughing. My girl's looking at me as well. Like, God damn, he's such a lovable asshole. I don't know why I'm attracted to him, but oh, I can't wait to sleep with him tonight. You're conveying pre-selection. You're making other girls laugh. You're being cocky and funny. You have to show pre-selection even when you have a girlfriend. The game never ends, fellas. That's why I tell you, make sure you are looking your best when you go out with your girl. Because let me tell you something. That girl you're going out with, she notices all the other heads turning and looking at you. She notices the way women are eyeing you and undressing you with their eyes. She notices the way women communicate with you non-verbally and verbally. This is all pre-selection. But if you're that guy that can't even get one head to turn and look at you, why the fuck would that girl appreciate being with you? Why would she value being with something that doesn't have value if other people don't want it? That's the definition of value. So you have to be making sure that you are constantly leveling up, looking your best, working out, reading books, wearing clothes that are tight fitting. They're not loose. They're not baggy. When I go out, I look my ultimate best because I want other women to look at me. I want them to check me out when I go out with a beautiful girl, whether that's to dinner or out to the bar, even to the gym. Pre-selection is always working. And the easiest time to pick up other hot women is when you show up with a badass girl that's already sexually attracted to you. It makes the pickup so much easier when they see another beautiful girl with you. You can pick up the bartender. You can pick up the cute girl that's sitting next to you. If that's what you want to do, if your girl is bisexual. Those were some of the best nights I ever had because 50% of the work is already done for you. Just by you showing up with a beautiful girl. I'm going to end with this. There's a saying out there. The best jewelry a man can wear is a beautiful girl. Watch how many heads turn when you show up with a badass girl anywhere you go. And I would use this as revenge when girls rejected me at the gym. When a girl would reject me at the gym that I tried getting the number from. When I tried talking to her. You know what I did? I would show up that week with an even hotter and more beautiful girl. Now that girl that rejected me, she's looking at me and her and wondering, man, who is this guy? Who did I reject? That is the best revenge, fellas. Turn that pain into purpose. That's how we do it on this side, on the boss player side. I show up with an even hotter girl for those two weeks. Several different girls. Just to prove a point. That's how pre-selection works, fellas. Anytime I would show up with another beautiful smoke show at the gym, now these girls wanted me. But once again, it was too late. 
I was just doing that to prove a point because I can be spiteful as well. Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to keep posting bangers for you. Remember one thing, pre-selection is one of the most powerful tools when it comes to sexual triggers in women, and it is the hardest to fake. You can't fake being pre-selected, but I want you guys to level up and make yourself the best possible version and start learning game. Start learning how to communicate and talking with women.